Hi everyone, this is Darren from the Bulldog 3D. Today we're just going to look at the Creality K1 SE 3D printer that Creality have just dropped on their store. So let's go see what a compare and contrast from the K1 SE is to some of the other K1 models. Looking at the K1 SE, this looks to be essentially a clone of the K1C, uh, but with no side panels uh, and no top. This will be an unenclosed printer, uh, currently uh, retailing at $359. Uh, just a hundred dollars less than the K1C So if we explore some of the differences uh, or similarities both of the touchscreen both core XY uh, similar printer dimensions same build volumes max speed to print speed differences are filaments that are supported uh, Because it's a non enclosed printer It only supports hyper PLA PLA pet G and TPU and same extruder this looks like a slightly different hot hand not sure what this would mean at the moment um, same extruders uh, same print accuracy slightly different build plate uh, nozzle temperatures are going to be less than 300 degrees versus 300 degrees with a K1C and then the heated bed temperatures are going to be different this is due to the enclosed nature of the k1c versus the unenclosed k1 se obviously no chamber heating uh, it's got the dynamically closed loop fan uh, no air filtering because it's an open chassis uh, the camera is optional it would be would have been nice i think to have had the camera in there uh, so obviously with no camera there's no front object detection, no remote monitoring, time lapse, uh, build surface detection, and failure detection. Uh, but you can always purchase that as an add on. Open source Creality OS, same as the K1C. I would assume that you could sideload a clipper uh, like you can with the K1C uh, to expand all of its possibilities. Obviously, no silent mode with an open enclosure. Uh, Wi-Fi and 8 gigs of memory. So who or what is the K1 SE uh, targeted at or who's their market for? And so I think it's just a direct comparison towards the Bamboo Lab P1P. Uh, with Bamboo Lab being 499 uh, and the K1 SE being 359. Differences between the P1P and the K1 SE, uh, the main Significant change difference will be the build volume. Um, you got 220 by 220 by 250, and then on Bamboo Lab, you got the build volume of 256 by cubed. And so that's a 36 millimeter difference, and uh, so essentially one and a half inch difference. But at this build volume, at this price point really is the bamboo lab the competitor or would something like the end of three v3 be more of a competition regular price is 389 uh, on sale right now at 299 and so if you look at the build volume same build volume direct drive extruder similar print speeds print similar acceleration run out sensors a camera is an optional Still based on the open source Creality OS Clipper. And so with this being on sale, obviously $50 cheaper than the K1 SE, but every other printer on Creality's website right now is on sale. So assuming at some point this will go on sale, you could be looking at sub $300 for the Core XY printer from Creality. With the K1 SE being 359, and the end of 3v3 being 389 at regular price it's really a question of which one would you go for uh, whether it's the end of 3v3 or the k1 se so some things to note on the creality website we come down to here you can add and print some side panels to make it your own but interestingly uh, what it says here is that the k1 se offers a bare bone 3d printing solution which can easily be modified by adding 3D printed side panels. 
sizable holder and so on. But there is reserved USB ports so are great to connect a webcam or other accessories. And so it would be interesting to see if when you connect the webcam, whether that would uh, have all the AI detection, uh, print bed detection from potentially a much better camera. Uh, one thing to note on this page here, you get 75 seconds from zero to 300 degrees and it could fully melt ABS. However, you would need it in an enclosure. Uh, but if we go back to the K1 comparison, ABS is not listed as a supporting filament. So I don't know if that's missing out of here or whether that's just some marketing that needs to be changed. With the Core XY design, I'm sure it's still gonna have the same print quality as the K1C. So when we go to here, K1 SE 3D printer is not available to purchase right now. You can enter your email address and get updated as to when that will be available. With the Creality K2 Plus uh, coming out and shipping uh, late September, early October, be interesting to see when they're going to start shipping the K1 SE 3D printer as well. So let's just take some closer looks. Thing on there. Using the Creality Cloud. What's interesting up here is the Bowden tube seems to be sticking out quite a long way out of the top of the 3D printer there. And uh, you can see it there as well. Zoom in. So we'll see how that works, especially if Reality are making this available with uh, their CFS unit for multicolor printing and whether that's going to fit on top or whether the CFS unit has to fit on the side. And there's a side view with the spool holder on the back. So very interesting from Creality they would release uh, the bare bones printer as they when they've got their K2 Plus coming out uh, very soon. You would assume that this might be a month before they start shipping. So that puts it right in line with when they're going to ship K2 Plus. That's all for now. I'll put some links in the description below. See you all next time. Thanks for watching.